Hi everyone and thanks for watching this is Sabiuddin Ahmed Siddiqui and now I am uh, going to demonstrate on using negative numbers and positive numbers and the other part of this that is using sine sign bit numbers or parity bit numbers or the magnitude of the whole string of binary so you will see that how these values are calculated so now uh, using sine bits This can be uh, used for both students, O levels and A levels, uh, including AS also. So you can see that uh, using sine bits, where you can use uh, the parity bit. If you consider this as parity bit or sine bit, there is no difference in between sine bit and parity bit. They can be of synonyms for each other. So now see that. Let's suppose I have to make negative numbers. I have to form negative number that is let's suppose minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus and minus 8 let's suppose we have these negative numbers here okay so for, for, for forming these negative numbers I must know about the use of sine bit so if I am using the sine bit correctly so you will see that all the numbers which you considered before as positive numbers they become negative numbers so now see that if I have this binary string uh, binary register that is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and 128 now here i am just going to show you uh, two more things that is or uh, to tell you about something about uh, least significant bit lsb and msb least significant bit I have already uh, mentioned in previous tutorials but I am again going to, to tell you about these things so that you can remember and then can grasp the uh, method here. So this is the LSB which can only be one and then this is or this going to be MSB which can be higher than the length of the string right. So let's suppose if I'm considering the leftmost as sine bit you can see this is here I'm just considering this as sine bit I'm just putting SB over it so that you can remember that this is the sine bit or PV parity bit so you can use that and you have understood the concept of a start bit and a stop bit so you can also consider this thing to understand those concepts as well so now 128 and 64 so now I have to make this, these eight negative numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and, and you know that computer does not uh, or the computer is not restricted only on producing positive numbers but we have some different data in daily life which you can input all the uh, work uh, through all the work so so if there is there are negative numbers so how they're calculated so that's why it is it has been selected to just show you the demonstration on these numbers and how these numbers are calculated so now I am just going to just show you the first numbers first set of numbers where I am just uh, write this binary string for just four numbers and eight now considering this eight as a sine bit this is sine bit and this is the magnitude this is the magnitude right so maybe let's suppose I am using four numbers so this means these three are known as magnitude so if the string is going to be lengthier that means if the length is increasing this way and this is the seventh digit or let's suppose 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and 128 so this is the leftmost will be the sine bit if the number is smaller or greater so you will be increasing the number towards your left hand side which is known as most significant bit this could be msb and this could be lsb so remember that whenever you are just going to form negative numbers you have to remember this method right now moving on to the next part <clears throat> which is i'm just going to show you 
here in these four numbers so uh, okay so now this is the negative number now I am going to to form minus one so to form minus one I have to turn this bit on and then remaining positions will be one because this is you are considering this as minus negative number right this is the negative number okay so if negative 8 subtracts negative 8 you are subtracting from negative 8 plus 7 so this is the the sum of these numbers is 7 and this is 8 so 8 is on that means minus 8 is on and plus 7 so this will give you minus 1 isn't it so see that minus 1 is formed by turning all these bits on when you are considering sine bit or parity bit remember that because this will make you confuse that before that you were doing all these numbers as positive and now you are just going to do this as negative number so just keep this thing or keep some uh, difference by using sine bit and put the sine bit over it so that you can remember that you are doing in different mode okay which is a negative mode right so now you are forming negative numbers if this is minus 1 then what would be the minus 2 right you see that 1 2 4 8 and 6 uh, and 16 later on I will just add 16 okay so now I have by here I am just separating this as sine bit now 1 1 1 1 will give me minus 1 minus 1 then minus 2 1 1 1 0 equals 2 minus 2 because 8 minus 8 plus 6 equals 2 minus 2 then you would need to have 3 8 uh, then 5 1 0 1 equals 2 minus 3 then 8 minus 4 equals 2 minus 4 then 8 minus 3 equals 2 minus 5 then 8 minus 2 equals 2 minus 6 and 8 minus 1 equals 2 minus 7 and for the 8 itself so this bit has been considered as sine bit so the next bit will be increased as 16 so 16 minus 8 equals 2 minus 8 so here sb1 I am just naming this as sb1 and this is as sb2 which is on 16 so when you come to this you will turn this bit on here 16 minus 8 this is here right this becomes positive and rest of that will be put as 0 so this is minus 8 so I hope you will understand again I am just writing this is 1 2 4 8 16 you should turn this as sb see this put 1 over here this turns all this number into negative and then just turning this 8 on will subtract from minus 16 and plus 8 because this is all considered as magnitude magnitude means positive number right so this is all 0 will make this minus 8 this is minus 8 so this way you have seen that how negative numbers are formed so I hope you will like this thanks for watching